Should I do it? I am gonna do it. I am gonna purchase this car. I'm gonna buy it right now. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, in case you hadn't noticed, cars are changing. The entire world is changing. In less than 10 years, they're gonna stop making new petrol and diesel cars and everything, absolutely everything, is going electric. And that got me thinking, why wait? Why wait 10 years before we adopt to electric cars? Why not do it right now? I'm always on the channel banging on about how great electric cars are. We're giving away an electric car every single month for free to try and help people jump on that bandwagon as soon as possible and save you some money. And yet here I am bombing around in a V8 Mustang and a diesel SUV. Why don't I put my money where my mouth is and buy an electric car? In fact, there's probably no better time to think about EVs than right now because the UK is in the middle of a fuel crisis where petrol panic buying is leading to massive queues. Maybe now's the time to see what's out there in the world of EVs. And yeah, I hear your concerns. A lot of you are saying they're too expensive, they're too this, they're too that. But I have solutions. We have a wealth of electric cars available on Auto Trader on the used market today. So what I'm gonna do is buy the cheapest available used electric car on Auto Trader right here, right now. Right, let's fire up the mothership. This is Auto Trader UK, where we drive the latest, the greatest giving you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So strap in, subscribe, and if you have been watching, don't stop. Don't ever stop. Right, so the website is loaded. Please excuse um, the idiot on the homepage, but do watch our Ferrari Roma video when you get a second. First thing I'm gonna do is um, reset the search and then go into advanced search. And then I can scroll down to fuel type and select electric. And that'll give me every single electric car on the site. There's like in excess of seven and a half thousand available. Massive amount of stuff. And this will give me every single EV. And it looks like uh, if I sort by price lowest, I'll give me the cheapest first. Yep. And right now I'm getting the absolute cheapest being a Mitsubishi Aimeev for two grand, but that's for spares. Um, or we have a Renault Zoe for 4,450. Then below that, a Peugeot Ion, which is basically the same as the Aimea for 4,490. Let's have a look at the Zoe though. Okay, this Zoe looks pretty neat actually. I love the color, 4,450, looks nice inside. Yeah, that's actually, that's actually pretty decent. These are okay, these are kind of, on my short list, I would say. They're a bit on the small side, but this one is definitely good, Nick. Only problem with this, though, is it's a battery lease, and that means that you don't own the battery in the car. You're buying the car for four and a half grand, and then you pay 50 quid a month for the battery. So I'm gonna, yeah, let's rule that one out. Don't get me wrong, there are some advantages with a battery lease. You can guarantee the battery health, and you get breakdown cover, and depreciation is kind of mitigated, but I am after the cheapest electric car, and if I'm paying four and a half grand and then 50 quid a month on top of that till infinity, then it's not gonna work out that cheap, is it? So let's push on. Okay, this Peugeot Ion, that's a potential. Um, this one's not on a battery lease. These originally came with a petrol engine, but then they got converted. I can't say I'm a massive fan of these because they do look like toasters. Go and have a, have a look at your toaster and then come back and have a look at this car. Like you won't be able to tell the difference. They're that similar. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, 29,420 miles. Four and a half grand is not bad, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I can bring myself to be seen in one of these. I'm going to, nah, I'm going to rule it out. Sorry. No, not happening. They're not that practical and they don't look great. So are they even cars? Okay. So Nissan Leafs, quite a few of these actually in the sort of 4,600, 4,700 bracket. I'm okay with Leafs. The first ever international press launch I ever went on was for the Nissan Leaf in Portugal, October 2010. You can take the mickey if you want to, but this was actually the first proper electric car that was built from the ground up to be electric with no compromises in terms of quality and driving experience. And when I drove it, I, I thought they were quite good actually. So I'd never thought I'd buy one, but hang on, never say never. Let's take a look. There's quite a few options here. 
Okay, but the cheapest is for 4695. Let's click on that one. That actually looks good. That actually looks pretty decent. Pearl white. Can't see any damage anywhere. It looks clean. 4695. I mean, the interior is... Uh, <laughs> That's the thing, whenever you buy a cream interior, then you always kind of end up with dirt. But that's actually pretty decent inside and out. You've got a rear view parking camera. Yeah, five seats. This is a proper little car. And the price is actually all right as well. We've got a price indicator on the site that tells you whether you're paying a lower price, a fair price, a good price or whatever. And this is actually on the lower end. So 4695, what's well, the cheapest, isn't it? It's the cheapest on the site. Let's read it. Uh, cheapest, cheapest leaf on Auto Trader in optional pearl white with a reverse camera, USB, aux, energy saving seat covers, uh, two chargers, eight bars left on the battery, full service history, two keys, one private owner from new um, finance and part exchange available. That sounds really promising. And actually, let's look at let's look into sort of the pricing and finance situation. Okay, so if you look on the right hand side of a lot of our adverts, you'll see what you can pay per month. And this one, you pay £92.78 per month. Uh, put a grand down on the deposit, and then you've got £92 a month for the next, what, four years. That is actually cheaper than a travel card. So an electric car can be cheaper than a travel card. That is, that's absolutely, that's, that's mental. But you know what, I am gonna, should I do it? Should I do it? I am gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, Binker. Binker Retail. I am gonna purchase this car. I'm gonna buy it right now. We do delivery as well, so when you buy a car, they can drop it off to you for an extra charge. And if you don't like it, you can return the car. But I'm gonna go and have a look at this, see what it's like. And I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. What's happening, guys? I have news. So, this is my little collection of cars out here. We've got the 5 litre Mustang CS500, Clive Sutton. Um, that's my daily, believe it or not. Then we've got the X5, which you might have seen on the channel in um, a comparison with the Mercedes GLE. And then we've got a Corsa E, which is on test at the moment, so watch out for the full review of that. This is the GLE that I mentioned earlier. But, there's a new addition to the garage. A new addition to the family. And it's right here. This is my new, old, Nissan Leaf, come on. I've literally just driven it back here and I'm super excited with this thing. It's honestly, in the pictures, it looks really good, but in the flesh, I think it looks even better. The paintwork, I'm not gonna say it's immaculate, but it's pretty close to being immaculate. It's this pearlescent white finish, which looks really good. Um, the alloy wheels, so it's got 16 inch alloys on every single corner. There's a couple of little dings in the alloys, but I can sort those out, no worries at all. And the tires, they're in great nick as well, so loads of tread on those. The headlights, a um, little bit of misting going on in there. And also, I mean, this, this is not the best looking headlight design in the world, is it? But, you know, we can forgive that. But on the whole, this thing is in absolutely fantastic nick. One of the things that drove me to this over the other cars that I looked at on Auto Trader was that it's a proper electric family car. I mean, the Peugeot Ion, the Mitsubishi IMEV and those cars, they're, they're a bit too dinky. They're almost like a bit like novelty cars in a way. And then the Renault Zoe had to be purchased with a lease, so you weren't really buying the, the full car. This car, to me, makes the most sense, and it is, for me, the cheapest proper car that's electrically powered on Auto Trader today. And it's mine. And it's, and it's properly good quality as well. Listen to this. Listen to this door. Oh, that is, that is like it's just come off the factory. That's VW quality right there. That is mint. And also, let me show you the back. This is a little sporty touch that um, I enjoy. You know I love getting around in my little sporty cars, but down here, this thing has a diffuser. Look at that, downforce on an electric. Okay, maybe not downforce, but maybe prevents lift. Or maybe not even that actually. But look, it's got a diffuser. What more do you want? It doesn't have the solar panel, but we don't need that. We do have all the little bits and bobs though. So in here, we've got the granny charger for plugging into your three pin plug socket as well as the uh, type one to type two charger so everything is there everything is in shape I'm, I'm super happy man this is a it stands out a bit in this company this isn't like <laughs> it's not the normal car that i would go for but 
I got a bit fed up with people saying, you know, electric cars are coming, why don't you lead by example? So here I am, leading by example. This is the car that I'm gonna run every single day. Not the Mustang, not the X5. This is my daily car, and I'm gonna tell you what it's like to live with this thing everywhere I go. And if you've got any suggestions for what you want me to do with this car, drop them down below or message me on Instagram, whatever, and I will, I'll do it. I'll let you know, I'll, I'll, let, you, I'll let you know how it goes, and maybe you might wanna make the switch as well. But until then, I'll see you later. I'm gonna go and cuddle and get acquainted with my new leaf. <laughs> Electric. <laughs>